What is up my Squirtalites, it is I, your king, welcoming you back to another weekly update. I know it's been a little bit since the last one, but uh, life's been pretty darn crazy. There's just all sorts of stuff been happening, work's picked up, I've found, had a lot less free time, I've also been working a lot more extensively on videos, um, and all of that's just kind of made for a lot of chaos, and not to mention I really haven't had a whole lot to talk about. I mean, I'm not going to have a lot to talk about in this video. Um, but I mean, there, I mean, yeah, there were totally topics I could have covered, but I didn't. And, um, you know what? It's, it's, it's all right. Whatever. We're back. Hopefully I won't be, I'll be able to keep these up weekly again. Um, it's just that typically on Mondays or, you know, Mondays when I'm actually recording these, cause like first impressions, I like to record these the day before, um, they go up. It's just been incredibly hectic. Well, <laughs> This week it's Memorial Day, so it's obviously not very hectic because it's a freaking holiday. Um, so, yeah, it's I actually can finally get one out, um, even though it's been a long time. But um, anyway, I guess a couple things. Uh, let's start with the channel, as, you know, as we always do. Um, so, Bioshock. I, I think I've already. I think this is. I don't know if it was this way. No, it wasn't. Okay, Bioshock Two, Uncharted Four, both fully recorded. Um, so those ones are fine. All I have to do is edit those and upload those as they go. Um, Fallout 4, I'm like 20 videos ahead. Um, pretty much done with the main campaign. Then we're going to take that break for a while. I mean, I could probably just do one more recording session and I'd be done. Um, and then Let's Play number 51 is about 20 episodes in. I'm pretty far already on that. Uh, Let's Play 50, I'm actually going to be recording a little bit later. Um, because it's actually gonna be a super short Let's Play. Um, but, uh, Let's Play 51 is, is so far, pretty darn far ahead. Um, it's, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm busting right through that one. I'm hoping to get it done before I even, before any of the current Let's Plays even finish. Um, and in fact, in fact, by the end of June, I'm hoping to actually have every single Let's Play for the rest of the year, aside from the very last one and the last Guardian, of course, because that won't even be out. Um, done before by the end of the month, basically, which that constitutes is really just three others, um, two of which are Nintendo 64 games, which, by the way, I wanted to talk about that, um, so, uh, this year, um, well, actually, like, the last, like, two or three years, I've done a lot of just, you know, Uncharted, Last of Us, a lot of military shooters, I mean, just lots of sh games with involving shooting in general, like, just tons and tons and tons of them. And, uh, I mean, there's been the occasional, you know, the Ori and the Blind Forest and Child of Light. There's been a few deviations from that. Paper Mario came back and whatnot. But, um, next year I kind of want to focus on Nintendo again. Like, lots and lots of 64 GameCube and Wii games. Um, so, yeah. I mean, aside from the final Let's Play of this year, which is going to definitely go through all of next year and probably beyond that, it's going to be the longest Let's Play I do on this channel. And then also the return of Fallout 4... I think that's really all that we're going to see next year. I mean, there will be a couple day one LPs, you know, depending on what even gets announced. Um, and, you know, there, there, there's one other um, game, mili actually a World War II shooter, another one of those that I want to do next year. But it's not very long. It'll only be like 20 videos. So aside from that, um, there's going to be a lot of Nintendo content coming back to this channel. So yay! Uh, a, couple, a lot of games I've already played before, but a couple that I've actually never had the chance to play... Um, and I've deliberately avoided on first impressions because I already plan to blind LP them. And I also start might start even dipping into the first impressions games that I've done that people really, really liked and starting Let's Plays on those. I mean, I mean, we're looking far ahead in the future, but um, I've kind of set my schedule in stone for a long time to come because really, all right, I'm just going to talk about this. The Last Guardian, which we all know is... Uh, you know, it's kind of, I'm, I've talked about it a million times. I'm super excited for it. It's a huge deal. Um, I had heavily debated for pretty much since the start of my channel. Um, well, I actually... Okay, I should say, Okami was the first game that I kind of debated on this. But after I was done with Okami, Last Guardian is the new game that it kind of became like this after I finished that. So, um, And it's kind of where I debated, am I just going to stop making Let's Plays? Um, that's That's kind of what I you know, considered, um, and when I finished Okami, I decided to keep going, um, and then I've kind of had the same thought process with The Last Guardian. 
I'm I've decided now I don't want to stop still. Um, I mean, I actually kind of came to this decision a couple months ago, but um, since I came to that decision, I realized, well, if that's the case, then I can plan really far ahead um, just because, you know, I, I mean, that's where I was going to end it. Whenever it came out, I was just going to be done and um, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm, I'm going to keep going. I mean, I, I'd said for a long time, I'm going to I'm going to do this for a long time, but I mean, there was a part of me that realized, you know, once The Last Guardian's done, what else do I want to do? I mean, I've pretty much covered all my all-time favorite games, um, multiple times even, on some of them. I mean, there's really not a lot left for me to cover, but um, I think really the only game on my, because I made a top 20 list a few years back, I think the only one I haven't covered on this channel yet is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the only one I haven't done. Um... And probably won't for a long time because of copyright issues. But anyway, um, I've planned really far ahead now. Um, so there's probably going to be a lot of Nintendo games in the near future because I just haven't been doing those lately and it kind of sucks because they're very fun and very Let's Playable. Um, lots of these games that I've been doing actually aren't Let's Playable because they have so much dialogue, so many cinematics, so much of this and this and this that I can't just talk over the gameplay, that it's actually made it very difficult to Let's Play all this crap. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Uncharted and I love Last of Us, but they do not lend well to Let's Plays, um, especially if you're not doing it blind, because then you really can't even react to it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think it's time to move on past that stuff. Speaking of Nintendo games, real quick, let me grab this, hold on, I got it. Um, I got myself a little toy. Um, this is called a Retron 2. Uh, I think people on Twitter, you know, you all probably saw me talking about this. I was going to get a Retron 7. Unfortunately, I, the place I was going to buy them at doesn't sell them, or doesn't have them in stock, and nor does their supplier. So I settled on this, just for now, um, but I do, but it only cost me like $20. Um, but I do plan on getting the Retron 7 at some point. Um, what these are, basically, is they're just, you know, they're new consoles that can play um, all of the old games. Like this one, it, it can, all it can play is NES and Super Nintendo. But I bought a few games for it, and, I, and it only runs on S-Video and AV, which is also a little bit of a problem at the moment, but um, hopefully I should be able to solve that situation in a few months' time. And then when I get the Retron 7, that's how I'm going to be able to finally start doing more Game Boy Advance games, um, some Sega games, um, some region-locked games, such as Famicom and Super Famicom stuff. Um, if I mean, <laughs> implying that ever happens, but it's a possibility. You never know. Um, I mean, it's it's a... It's a 10 system, like, combo is what that thing is, so. Um, but more specifically, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games would be what that's for. I know I can do Game Boy Advance then with my DS capture card, but the DS capture card has this really weird, like, it's really it's really strange. It says it only records one screen, but the full video file comes out as if it's a DS screen, but only there's, there's only the bottom screen. And it just makes it all that much more difficult to play, because I have to put up this really stupid tiny screen, when I'd rather just have it on my TV and play with the controller that way when I'm doing Game Boy Advance games. So that's kind of the idea, not to mention the Retron 7 outputs in HDMI, um, which is very, very nice and crisp. So yes, um, those, those are some, that's something I want to get, do, uh, get done uh, in the f near future. Um, I'm trying to think, I, it's really about it as far as the channel's concerned and as far as videos are concerned. I mean... I'm trying to keep to the normal schedule, you know, through every rotating videos every three days. Uh, you get the same video, or same Let's Play. They just rotate. And then first impressions on Saturdays, sometimes Sundays. Depends on how busy my Fridays are, really, is what it is. But I'm trying to at least get them out on Saturday or Sunday, every single weekend. Um, and, of course, I run into technical difficulties, like this last weekend. Mad World was supposed to be the one that I did for first impressions, but it turns out my disc doesn't even work. Um, so... I had to kind of do a quick poll on Twitter to see what people wanted us to run her up, and they picked Simpsons Hit and Run, and that was really well received, so hey, I mean, can't complain, I guess. Uh, aside from that, so the games I've been playing, really, there's only three games that came out this month that have been kind of a big deal, okay, a huge deal, um, and they are Uncharted 4, which I don't need to talk about it, it's, I'm let's playing it, you don't really need to hear anything else about it, um, it's great, Doom which I actually have barely played any of, but from what I've played, it's amazing. Uh, at least the campaign is. And then, uh, and this game, Overwatch. I mean, I'm not going to talk too much about this game, but I do want to say that this game, 
is an interesting beast. On PC, I can definitely say it's a little bit of a different experience from the way it is on console, because I think PC gamers have the mindset of these kinds of games already. Um, it's, it's very objective-based, and as such, uh, they kind of already play all that stuff all the time, so they know, so they're not stupid, they know what to do, because that's just kind of the mindset of the PC gamer. They play MOBAs, they play, you know, all these games that are, you know, they're very much in this style, because Overwatch is not a strict first-person shooter. It's as much a first-person shooter, I mean, I'd say as Battleborn, and bat that is a MOBA. Um, at the same time, though, they're not the same game, and I don't know why people keep comparing them. It's kind of silly. It's really not that much of a first-person shooter. It's really, it's so much more strategic. It's really just its own genre, is what it is. Um, but um, the thing about it is, is that it is so not friendly to the solo player, like, at all. In fact, I was very, very peeved, because I started with the Xbox One edition, to, and specifically to play with two friends. Um, and we can't. We can't. Because if we play together, just the three of us, uh, it's impossible to win because because of the console mindset where uh, every single game person that comes on that's a solo player uh, thinks that Overwatch is literally just Call of Duty draw animated by Pixar and they just try to go for kills and you always lose. I kid you not, my win-loss record on Xbox at the moment I think is five wins and I think it's like 40-something losses. And I'm not kidding, and none of those are like in-progress joins either, no, those are the full games. Half those games, I kid you not, I couldn't even leave spawn when I'm on the attacking end. I mean, it's just stupid. You can't do anything, because it's it's just so unfriendly to solo players, it really is. And I know there's like supposed to be this algorithm that, oh, well, uh, solo players only play solo players, then teams play team. that's BS, I don't even believe that for even a half a second, especially when you play with the same group like five times in a row, and it always matches up the same teams all five times, that's BS, I don't, I'm, I'm not falling for that. PS4 is a little bit better, because I have, instead of having just the two friends, I've got like 40 friends over there that are all playing it, and uh, there's really no shortage of full teams that I can join up on. And those are definitely better experiences. It's a it's a fun game when it works. When it doesn't work, it's honestly, I'd say, the most frustrating multiplayer game I've ever played. And that's why I think I have very mixed feelings on the game. It's great, but it's so polarizing. Um, and if you don't have people to play with, it don't waste your time. It's just it's just a frustrating mess. Um, if you don't have, you know, at least on console, it's it's not worth it. If you don't have people to play with, it really isn't. You're just going to lose every single game. And not even just like lose it a little bit. You're going to get stomped into the ground. You won't be able to do anything. And it's just not fun. I mean, I'm I'm hearing people saying that the solo queue for this game is worse than like League of Legends solo queue. Which is like literally a meme on the internet for how bad that is. I mean, that's how bad Overwatch's solo play is. So, yeah. Don't touch it unless you're going to have a bunch of people to play with um and i think that kind of soured me on the game a little bit because it's not a game you can just pop in and play whenever you want you can't you have to make sure that people are online before you can play with it i if i wake up you know and it's i'm you know it's it's early in the morning and i'm supposed to be into work but i don't have to really go in for like two hours and i'm like eh, i'm all ready to go i'm good i'm just gonna pop in a game and play. i can't put this game in um i just i just cannot uh, I have to do something like, I don't know, like literally any one of my other games. It's like the last option for me because it just, yeah, it's just not friendly to the solo player. And that sucks. It really does suck. Um, but that aside, the mechanics of the game are great. There are a couple balancing issues. I could go over those, but I mean, whenever I decide to, you know, actually bother with an Overwatch video again, which I'm not sure I'm going to because I don't think I like the game enough anymore to do that. Um... I might go into those balancing issues, but I think, I think I'm still, I'm going to give this game a totally fair shot until we see ranked play in action. If, when ranked play, when it divides that player base, um, and we see where, it, um, cause I, I can imagine that solo play would actually be a lot easier in ranked play. That's what I imagine. If you're only playing solo and ranked, it's going to give you a lot less of a difficult time. That's what I, that's what should happen. But we'll have to see if if it is if it is more passable in in ranked then okay i'll give it a more fair shot and i'll say yeah this game is really really good but at the moment it's uh 
it's very limited. It's very limited. And in fact, I already have a few friends that have uh, pretty much vowed never to play this game again because of how frustrating they've been. They how frustrated it's uh, made them. And, uh, you know, honestly, I don't blame them. I, In fact, I was tempted to not play it anymore after just, I mean, you know, you play 20 games in a row and you lose every single one of them. That's Why would you ever want to play that game again? Like, I mean, it's multiplayer only, too. You don't have anything else to go to. I mean, why would you ever want to play that again? So, yeah. And not to mention the game is not at all, you know, there's no long-term reward. There's no investment in it. It is just a, literally just a sit-down, plug-in-play game. That is what Overwatch is. It's got no investment whatsoever. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, not to rag on the game too much. I do enjoy it. Its characters are awesome. I freaking love May. I freaking love Widowmaker. I love Junkrat. I love Reinhardt. I love Lucio. There's, it's, it's fun. I, it is fun. When it is working as intended, it is... Ugh. There's so many great plays, and there's so many awesome moments, and there's so many clutch games, and it's 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 so enjoyable when it works. Um, but anyway, that's enough of that, um, and I think I'm just going to leave that as is. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.